for years I've wanted to be the kind of designers that travels the world and do client work with international clients or speak at big design events. And finally, after years, it's starting to happen, but as expected, it's not exactly simple as I've hoped. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another week of Wins and Fails where I share the daily progress of me as a designer building my business and it is now 9.20 in the morning and in about exactly two hours I'll be going from here from my office to the airport flying to Kiev in Ukraine to do Webflow training for a design team based in Kiev and I'm going to be there for three days and so be back by the end of the week spend a few (laughs) the next week here and then i'm flying to poland for to be speaking actually at two events so the first one is in gdansk it's called product camp and which is a a conference all about product design it sounds really amazing with incredible speakers i'll be doing kind of a talk workshop about how i use webflow to do prototype product prototyping actually the way that i've used it to build prospero um the the last product that i worked on and sold the company most of the front end of the product was built in Webflow. So I'll be doing a talk showing how I did that. From there, flying to Warsaw, also in Poland, to be speaking at Element Talks, which is really an amazing event. I spoke there like two years ago. Now I'm back again, be speaking about the five skills of future full stack designer. Also, I think it's going to be an incredible talk. At least I'm planning to build an incredible talk for that. Haven't done that yet. So those are kind of exciting few weeks for me, but also very, very stressed out because how the way that things happen, you know, this trip that I'm going on today, I wasn't sure about when the date is going to happen. I was kind of negotiating with with the client and in terms of you know how much money we're gonna uh, it's going to cost obviously this is live in-person webflow training so it's very very expensive and um, I wasn't sure about the dates I wanted to postpone this just because again I have the Poland trip coming up but they really needed this because they have a few websites that they're trying to build and they need the webflow skills to be able to build them themselves and so they really urged me to do it this week and so eventually I said yes that put up a lot of stress on my business because I had things planned out also I was planning to build the talks for Poland during this week and so that was postponed putting stress on it next week so a lot of stress is involved in making this all happen but first of all I want to say obviously that as I said in the intro I've been kind of fantasizing about this lifestyle of traveling the world I really really enjoy traveling this one of the most even if I do this for work just seeing other cultures eating different food meeting new people is really incredible for me and I was kind of fantasizing about this lifestyle for years for maybe 15 years since I started my design career and finally when it's starting to happen and I'm supposed to be enjoying this the truth is that it's much more complicated and mostly because of family so as some of you might know I'm a father of two young kids I have a two-year-old son just turned two last weekend um, and four and a half four and a half years old my older son Tommy anyway um, when I'm going away for even three, four days, or it's almost a week here, that puts up a lot of stress on obviously my wife who supports me. Obviously, if she wouldn't do that, I won't be able to do that. Um, and even though she's very supportive because she knows it's important for me, it's important for the success of the business, I can't ignore the fact that it takes a big toll on her to, um, she's not a morning person, now she has to wake up pretty early for the kids and just handling the whole household by herself for a week and then another one next week, it takes a big toll, obviously. Obviously, it's a little bit hard for the kids as well. And so now, it, it instead of like being like, yeah, let me travel every week, I'm, it, this is very much associated with either a guilt of, you know, I'm leaving my family to do something that is fun for me. And even if it's, let's say, profitable and it's important to, you know, generate income and and work on the business, at the end of the day, as a freelancer, as somebody who managed my own business, I make the business decision. So I can say, let's not do this because, you know, I want to be with my family. 
And it's a choice that I have to take, that I have to live with. It's not like a lot of people are <laughs> that are working in a big corporation. They have to travel for work. It's easy for them to say, you know, I have to go. I have to. There is a team retreat or something. As a, as a freelancer, as somebody who runs their own business, if I'm going abroad, that's because I made the decision. And it's it's you can't blame somebody else for that choice. You have to take responsibility and ownership on it. And it's it makes things harder. And so. Even though, like, ideally, if I wasn't maybe married with kids, I'd want to travel, you know, and, and make use of the opportunity that, you know, after building so many years to build a brand for myself and put myself in a position where I have those opportunities, um, I travel, you know, every week. Now I really have to push this back and be very, very selective about the types of, you know, things that I do. Um, so in this case specifically the webflow training is just it's very very profitable for you know three day of training the speaking at events that actually does not generate revenue but that's kind of like you know i'm talking about webflow but the things that i'm passionate about which is kind of like related to my business so i'm building brand and awareness around that so i think that is also very important at that stage and in this stage in my career so you know that's just want to share with you like that first of all it takes a lot of time to get to this position that i was like for years i was hoping for this and i was like why it's not happening for me yet why does not international clients you know fly me over the world to to work with them um and it does happen after working and putting yourself out there and doing great work um and also sharing that work you know online here and and with the people you know in my network so that people know that you can do that type of work the second thing is just that it's not as, you know, pink dream or like amazing fantasy. It is pretty fun. It's also pretty intensive. It also brings a toll on your family and on your kind of like, I don't know, health and because it's, it's very difficult and intense. But that being said, I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very exciting, hoping to create a really cool vlog out of a Kiev trip that I'm going on right now, also from the Poland trip. So I'm excited to share those learning with you. Hope you're going to have an amazing week. And uh, videos are coming up normally this week. Even though I'm not here, you'll see the Kiev trip on this channel next week. Have an awesome day. I'll catch you tomorrow.